And welcome back to the Turdford channel. All right, today's question is about Tarzan. This is a very common physics problem. And the way the problem usually works, you've got Tarzan holding on to a vine, and he's usually standing on a limb on the cliff or something. I've seen this exact same question done where it's about Batman before. Uh, it could be a monkey on the vine. It could be a child on the swing. It's all the same. Heck, we could end up, oh, give me that back, actually. We could actually change it. It doesn't matter who it is swinging on the vine, but there's going to be something here. We can make it Tar Trump swinging on the vine, or Trump Zan. Anyway, so here we've got Donald taking the big swing off of this cliff. Now, what the problem does is this, and this is where everybody messes up. It'll tell you it's a 10-meter long vine or something in the problem that you're looking at here. Well, what happens is this. The only work being done in this problem, because remember, this is a chapter about work net. Work net is equal to delta Ke. And so the only kind of work being done is work done by gravity is equal to delta Ke. And we'll do this in straight up physics style. Physical science, you might treat it a little bit different. But what everybody always does to mess it up is this. When people go to work this problem, they come over here to the work gravity section. And we know that the equation is mgy initial minus mgy final equals one-half mv squared minus... Here's the thing, the, and I'm missing the one-half mvo. I can't hardly get it in my video. But here's the thing, it doesn't matter because Trump's velocity up here is a zero. So we can just mark that out. I'm also going to make, in my videos, if you've not noticed, y initial is always zero, so I can mark it out. Which, now you can know something else. Look at all that's left of that equation. It's just negative mg y final equals one-half mv squared. So if you notice this, you'll see that you've got an m on the left and right of the equation, so we can strike the m out as well. Where everybody messes up, Everybody wants to use that 10 is y. No, it is not. Y is not 10. All we want to know is how far did Tarzan fall in this problem? You see, the vine is 10 meters long, so even when he swings on the vine, even when he swings on the vine, he doesn't fall. What we're looking for is this. We're looking for how far did Tarzan fall, or Batman, or Trump Zan, or whatever the problem is about, the child on the swing, we're trying to find that why. That's the whole part of a Tarzan question that makes it hard. How do you find that why? Well, remember, we know that the vine is 10 meters long. Now I want you to look at this. Look at this. Here is where the answer to this problem lies. And my lines are a little crooked, but what I want you to notice is this. What what shape am I kind of trying to highlight here? What is this? It's a right triangle. And so if this is a right triangle, I want you to look at something. This is the adjacent side. 10 cosine. And we'll say it's a 30 degree angle. 10 cosine of 30 degrees. That's how you can find the adjacent side of that triangle, which means that triangle cosine of 30 is 0.866. So we'll go with 8.8. Seven. What that means is this. It means from here, well, I'm highlighting in blue here, to here, this distance is only 8.7 meters. Now, remember something. The vine is 10 meters long. So the big question is, how far did Tarzan fall? Well, Tarzan fell negative 1.3 meters. And so all you have to do to Tarzan is negative 9.8. And now notice something. The negatives will cancel. Negative 1.3, 1 half V square. Pull up our calculator. 9.8 times 1.3. Divide by half. So I'll just go times 2. Take a square root. Oh, oh don't want to do shift. And of our answer... And our answer is 5.04, 5.05 meters per second. There's Tarzan. Y'all, again, I want to try and really bring this to you. The whole purpose of a Tarzan. Hey, Trump, thanks for coming back again. <laughs> 
the whole purpose of a Tarzan question is just this. You need to figure out whatever the length of this vine is, say it's 20 meters, the whole purpose of the thing, let's say that the angle is 40. The whole purpose of the Tarzan question is you need to figure out how far Tarzan, Batman, Superman, whatever swinging on the vine is, you need to figure out how far they fall. And to do that, all you've got to do is go 20 cosine of the angle and then take that, whatever that value is here. See what we get. 20 cosine 40, close my parenthesis, equals 15.3. So that means that this is 15.3. So that means Tarzan would fall 4.7 meters. And then that's your why to plug back into the problem. That is the only trick to doing a Tarzan question. Anyway, it's quick six minutes video. Here, we'll have Trump head swinging on the vine. Anyway, hope you appreciate it. Anyway, later, peace out, and hot wings are great. Bye. Bye.